eagle on the left is the American eagle, and the one on the right is the Mexican eagle, which it appears to have a, a, a snake in its mouth, and it's standing on cactus. Uh, a very significant amount of legitimate trade and travel moves across that border every day, uh, and, and that's the lifeblood of a lot of these, uh, these communities along the border. That commerce, that business, that trade is, is their lifeline. That's important. I'm first an American, but at the same time, my heritage is Mexican. So therefore, I feel for Mexico, but at the same time, I feel for America too. And what I tell people in Washington is, don't make any assumptions about Del Rio or Valverde County until you come down and visit and see what we're talking about. A lot of people use the Rio Grande to, to water their livestock. So you go, what side of the river are you going to put that on? Are you going to block access to, to water? Lake Amistad is an example of something that's already a physical barrier. Um, with 67 miles uh, of lake on, on either side, um, it's hard to, to get over it. But it also has a, an ecological a balance. Um, people depend on this lake for irrigation, depend on it for recreation and commerce. And this is a, a particular area uh, where the need for a, a wall is unnecessary.